Okay, what is your take on the petrified titan phenomenon? There seems to be petrification phenomena associated with the phoenix phenomena. There is, 100%. But I don't know what you mean by petrified titans. Because I've seen some of the pictures floating around Facebook. And I'm not, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that, that some of these 300 foot long rock outcrops and all that are actual giant bodies. I'm not trying. I just can't. There's no way. I, uh, there is no way our world could, could sustain creatures that large. There's just no way. I mean, what the hell would they, what the hell would they eat? Um, no, nah, I believe the giants existed in the past. I have several videos on the difference between titans and giants. And it all it has everything to do with vapor canopy ecology. And vapor canopy isn't something I made up at all. Back when I was a Christian, I used to I used to research, I used to devour the scientific reports from the uh, Institute of Creation Research. Insti ICR has some amazing things in vapor canopy, uh, mesosphere, the they stuck with the biblical terminology, which was firmament. They're always calling it the firmament. And that's cool because that's what it's called in Genesis. But the vapor canopy is something that they have a lot of scientific data for. And that's where I got a lot of my, my ideas, my material, and I understand. And I interpreted all these ancient American traditions now because I understand what they're talking about. The dark the dark purple light, light time. Uh, when the matriarchal cultures were, were, were that they had traditions that there was a dark purple light, uh, there was no sun. No one even heard a sun. As a matter of fact, it took a cataclysm known as the Great Flood, which in other cultures was the day the sky fell. The collapse of the vapor canopy was when the sun calendars were born. It's called in ancient America from the Zapotecs and the Olmecs, the Quiche, the Maya, they all the Toltec. They all said the same thing. The birth of the sun, the four began the four sun ages. Well, those four sun ages were all 552 years apart. Each one of them was a cataclysm. So uh, that's all in my book, uh, When the Sun Darkens.